this girl was living in America. Her girl for real was living in America with her so-called boyfriend or husband. They were doing this same thing and the boy was arrested, served 10 years in jail. You had jail for real, came to Ghana, living your life. You won't keep quiet. I don't know who pushed you to go to UK. They will push you. Whoever pushed you to go to UK, how one kasa? And I don't want to say, I'm going to say, Boko. And you are not There is no heaven up there. And there is no hell here. Share the heaven and hell we are talking about. It is here with us. Whatever you do with your life will determine whether you are going to enjoy your heaven or you are going to be in hell. Whatever you do with your life on this earth, your heaven you are going to reap right now and your hell you are going to reap. For example, if you are a young lady and then you are just gallivanting one man to another, doing abortion, Oh, baby, I'm pregnant. Oh, oh, please. You know, I'm not ready for a baby. Come and take thousands of it. Go and abort it. Click, 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 click. You go and do the money. You abort the pregnancy. And at that time, baby, please, I'm pregnant again. No. Oh, you know, I'm not ready. Oh, come and take 2,000. Go and abort it. Click, 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 click. Go and open your legs. It will take some machine. Click, 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 click. It will remove the baby. That relationship will not go anywhere. Another man comes. You are pregnant. Baby, I'm pregnant. Oh, you know, I'm not ready. Come and take 5,000 cities. Click, 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 click. You go and open your legs. You do abortion. Who can ask you hear me? When you are now ready to have a baby, probably you have changed. You have repented. You have stopped killing babies. You have a, you have a, a, a good husband. A very rich one at that matter. You are married. God has blessed you. Pastors have prayed. And then the pastor will tell you that, Hey, all your sins have been forgotten. God doesn't remember them again. Behold, all things are in the past. And da, 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 da. Hello, it is in the past, but you pay for your price. You will pay the price. For the abortion you have committed, you will pay. Either you will have something happening because maybe some quack doctors perform that abortion on you. Either you are going to have some problems medically in your stomach, in your womb. And then, or you are going to be barren. Then now that you have the husband who is ready to take care of you and your unborn babies, pregnancy come on, a pregnancy come on, a pregnancy come on, pregnancy is not coming. Then you go from one pastor to another. Hey, ba 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 ba, sankata makanta, oh be 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 be. Let's pray, oh. A, a witch has taken a baby. The witches are taking a baby. Let's pray. The whole church, we are praying. Hey, ba 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 ba. The baby will not come. My sister, stop praying. The baby will not come oh, because you've killed all the babies some years ago. And that is your hell you are going to live in. Your in-laws are going to come after you. Society is going to come after you. Church is going to come after you. Your husband's families are going to come after you. And you are going to cry the hell out of yourself for the rest of your life. Because the baby won't come. Anything we are doing on earth, we are paying. Me, I am not a perfect person. I have made so many mistakes in my life. And whether it is a mistake or not, nature doesn't care whether it is a mistake. Karma doesn't know it is a mistake. Karma name say a mistake. Oh. You will pay everything. And then I'm suffering depression. Do you know why? Because of my own bad choices. Somebody cannot come and tell me, say, Joyce, some witch in your family and a bay phobia. Me and me yeah me ho. Beifobia nyeme Joyce. Beifobia nyeme. My own stubbornness and my own bad choices, which I think now no me feel say it's not good for me, so I've changed. Change you need them, I change you. Now mom, I am going to pay for every little thing I have done on this earth. Every little thing I have done with my body, with my brain, with every part of my body. There is no going to be any heaven or hell. Safin and me Now, you see, I've been in Babu. I have to get up. Hey, Joyce Manson, look at what you did when you were young. And you did this. And you dated somebody's husband. And his name is Mr. <laughs> Mr. Stephen. 
And you dated Mr. Steven and you had a baby and his wife came to beat you. So this is a video. Joyce Mensa, this is hellfire. Go. There is something like that, my brothers and sisters. The consequences of dating somebody's husband. I am facing it already. The consequences of every bad choice I have made. I have already, and I'm going to face it. Whatever thing you do with your life on this earth, you will surely, today you might not see that something is happening, but tomorrow, hmm? tomorrow, finally, you are going, karma will catch you like this. And you shall pay for all the things you have done in, on this earth. Who said, let us remember her in prayers so she can come out of this case? She is a royal. Oh, Ajia for real is such a pretty girl. Nobody will wish anybody to be in prison. But let's face facts. Unnecessary pressure. You know within your heart that so you didn't suffer. It wasn't your sweat. Now the better one. Olua is involved. Olua is involved. God is involved. If not for God, who, who am I? And now God has blessed me. And my enemies are enemies, shame to enemies. And you know it is somebody's sweat you are using to buy pressure for the young people who are going to follow you and follow your footsteps. But hallelujah, that right now, no, you can't beat Obronio. The white man who created the technology. It is just a matter of time and he will grab you. Here in Germany, let me give you one typical example in Germany. You see in Germany, eh, you can't be fraudulent. You can't be a fraudulent person in Germany. You see how people have put fraud on my name. Fraudulent is ambassador. It can be there. But you can't be a fraudulent person in Germany. Because you can never be smarter than the German with their German machine. It's just a matter of time and then the police will come after you. You can do all the things you want to do in Africa. Do it and leave it there. But you come to Germany, you want quick money. Here in Germany, there is no quick money. And everything you are doing with your life, they are watching you with a microscope. Eh? Everything. So, do you understand? Here in Germany, eh? you can never beat the system. Oh, those who are in Germany for 10 years, 20 years, go and ask them. You can never beat the system. Say my bad Germany. I remember, I was here in Germany. Me, me a very observer. I am very, very observant. I joke, number one. I can fool. I can fool for Africa, number two. I can dance the whole day, number three. Uh, but I am good with my brain. With my editing, I am perfect. Do you understand? I can do so many things. You can call me a liar, and you have lied before, I've lied before. You can call me a scammer, I've never scammed anybody before. It is the system in Ghana that rather scammed me and left me helpless. But here in Germany, there is no quick money in Germany. You can't get quick money in Germany. It is not possible in Germany. There are people who come here with some kind of fraudulent activities. Now, your jig visa, man, for fake visa, doing this, doing that. You think said they are not watching you. Oh, they are just gathering all the evidence. All the evidence. The white man who made a mobile phone. You want to use a mobile phone to scam the white man. You think he's not smart enough to know that you can use a mobile phone to scam him. They have developed other devices that they can use to follow you like a microscope. The machine in Germany is on you, especially with the Africans. Like a microscope. You can never beat the system in Germany. That is how I say, Hey, German, I'm going to pass the bill. And he said, I call Bob and Kofan Norman with fake visa. 
And I want to drink for no dinner for passport. I can for free Ghana by Germany. And I blah 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 blah. And I jam a fuck so anymore. You think that the Germans just woke up one one day and they went to arrest the person? No, it took time, time, time. Listen, in Ghana, anybody at all can be rich overnight. No questioning. Anybody can be rich overnight in Africa. Nobody will question them. But in Germany, my dear friends, you can't be rich overnight. Where are you going to keep the money? In your house, they will catch you. You keep the money in your house, they will catch you. You keep the money in your bank account, they will catch you. They will invite you. Come and explain, Joyce Mensa. Joyce Mensa, we know what you do. We know how much you earn every month. We know your, your house address. How come you have 20,000 euros in your account? How did you get 100,000 euros in your account? How did you get 1 million euros in your account? Joyce Mensa, come and explain. Otherwise, you are going to prison. You go to prison after serving your terms. They, they deport you back to Africa, Kotoka. Back to Kotoka. If you are coming to Abroche with the intention, say, Oh, Abroche, then be do ya. Oh, I shall one year. I'm going to build a half for my mama. I'm going to build a half for my papa. I'm going to do this. Forget it. Forget it. Those of us who live real life on social media, people come to bash us. It's a big lesson for you all. Who so bit in social media? No, did the kuni meko and in China man. Now some of my friends see this is the food I'm eating. Clap for them. Clap for them and don't go and insult anybody. I was talking about my mother's village. I used to go to my mother's village. If your mother has a farm, it doesn't mean she is poor. Planting food at your backyard or having a plot of land that you have planted, either cassava, plantain, cocoa yam, and then you can have fresh, uh, organic, organic food and eat. It doesn't mean you are poor, Africans. The brainwashing is too bad. If your father has a farm, and you go and help him in the farm. You, your father plants a lot of food stuff. And you can go and harvest organic food and eat. Dear friends, it doesn't mean you are a poor man. You are not a poor man. You are only harvesting what nature has blessed you with. It's about time we open the eyes of the people to know that this is the kind of world we live in. Don't be deceived. Me, if I go to my mother's uh, village... A thousand times. I, Joyce Mensa, I will go to her farm a thousand times. I will make a video of my mother's farm a thousand times. I will post it on social media a thousand times. Your negative comments coming to bash me and insult me, say, and I look at your mother's farm. It will not do me focal. You see my skin? It's a tough skin. How many times have I been insulted? For portraying who I really am. But I don't give a damn. Your lifestyle. Your way of bringing people down. Your negative words has pushed people like Hajia for real into this mess. Your unnecessary pressure. Unnecessary pressure has sent people like Hajia for real into this mess. You see me like this. I don't like talking no. Issues like this, I don't talk because me when they say when you are trying to make sense and put some sense into people's heads, they think, oh, only be They will not even come and watch you. Mm -mm. Ghanaians will not come and watch somebody who is preaching, not preaching Jesus Christ, who, who is saying something that will benefit their life. They will never watch it. If you are not naked dancing mapuka, oh, they will not come. If you are not insulting somebody. We need to say Moko when he say he and I say he say they will not come and watch you. Unnecessary things in Kwan Yebe. We as black people, unnecessary things in Kwan Kwasiya dia and fight me beyond brain. And then he throw guzu hey, that you wayo and I when he wayo cool and I today be today and I beef alert and I beef oh beef oh beef oh beef oh beef oh. Somebody came to attack me and insulted me that and our you just went to Ghana and she is not wearing any any better dress. 
I have a bag here. Somebody said that Oh, he David. Oh, he David kept to insult me in his video. And as she went to Ghana, I was saying, Papa, croak, 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 croak. I'm wearing shoe, croak, 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 croak. I like it like that. I like my croak, 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 croak shoe. I won't go and steal anybody's money. To go and buy uh, Gucci. Do you know something? I'm not a fan of designer wear. When somebody is hungry in my village, I should go and carry 1,000 euros to go and buy a shoe. Or bitty baby, come in Oh, bitty baby, come in the Then I go buy shrami. God will bless me. And then I will carry thousand euros and go and buy a bag. <laughs> no, I won't do it. I know how to set my priorities right. Priority. Priority. Hmm? I know how to set my priorities right. So, I will not carry thousand euros to go and buy a shoe. Just one shoe. Set Gucci and move and say Visace, Visace and Avinasi. You can call it me. I'm not a fan of. I am not a fan of. I am not a fan of shoes. Look, I am not a fan of bags. One bag is okay for me. I use it. Uh, when I see that it is fading, then I I put it somewhere and I buy a new bag. You come to my room. You go to some people's room. If you see the number of bags they've hanged. If you go and see their shoe rag, you will think that it's a it's a it's a, a shoe shop that she's going to sell. There is a friend of mine. One day I visited her, and the bag she this girl has, eh? Ah, oh, I entered the room. Ah, bag everywhere from head to toe. Hey. Then I said, oh sister, are you selling the bags? And then she started laughing. Quack 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 quack. I said, are you selling the bags? She said, oh, Joyce, don't be funny. It's my personal bag. I said, well, personal what? Do you know something? For me, if I keep too many things around me, I, it, it irritates me. And I have to say, baller, mommy. If you watch me, you go and say, to me, shah, dear, baku, People be insulting me, not a way, sister. I am a fancy, I'm a toy. I tell you, I am a fool. I tell you, I am a fancy, I'm a toy. It may be, but shah, I'm not pa. I'm saying, I'm not watching me. And I'm a good If I want to give somebody a gift, I don't give something that I have used, which is no more nice. I give beautiful things to people. I buy something fresh and I give it to you as a gift. I value people. I value human beings more than material things. That is why you don't see me today. I'm wearing this shoe. Tomorrow I'm wearing, I'm having this bag and a gushy top. And no. None of that I can afford it to. I cannot stand having so many things around me. It makes me crazy. And the bag is in huh? I'm telling you for a fact, dear friends. I have a bag here. That bag, that yellow bag, I was using it when I was in Ghana. And I'm still using it in Germany. To be frank and to be sincere with you, hang bag that I use. I have only one right now. Because I have to send money home for immense treatment. I have to send money home for my mother upkeep. I have to send money for this. I have to pay for this. I have to pay for that. Even if I have so much money in excess, because I don't have, I don't like too many things around me. I don't buy them. You understand? You understand? I don't. I don't need it. Somebody is hungry somewhere. Then I will carry thousand euros. I'll go and buy a shoe and wear. I won't do it. So if you sit on your page to insult me that. And as she went to Ghana, and then she was wearing only one shoe. She was, no, 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 my dear. <laughs> you are targeting the wrong person. Because I am not that type of person who can just be sad about, say, uh, her, her shoe is only one, or her, her, her handbag is only two. And no, 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 no. I love beautiful cars. Who cars a car, dear? I don't like overused cars. Hello? I don't like car that is not nice i won't drive i'm coming for uber to drive a car which is not nice, i'm coming for uber i'm coming driving but to have a lot of bags around me a lot of shoes if you want to go out you don't know where to wear i don't do that we have to learn as people we have to know what is priority priority let's know the difference between our needs and our wants the things you need in life 
you should make them you should prioritize them over things you want things you need is a necessity it is necessary things you need you need food it's necessity you need water and you're necessary you can't stay or you can't live without water you need shelter shelter is a necessity you need a place to sleep it is necessary mobile phone is a want it's not a need unless if you are doing it for business unless you are using the phone for business eh? luxury car is a want it's not a need because there can be a substitute to the car that you want to buy you can have a substitute anything that can have a substitute can never be a need it's a want i want a new shoe gushy bag meanwhile you have another shoe it means that it is not a necessity it is something you want you don't need it you have a phone you are using the phone is okay oh no i don't like this phone i want to buy iphone 13 pro max why because my friend is having it your boyfriend couldn't give you the money you have to go and sleep around or you have to steal it you are buying pressure for yourself it's it's not a need it's a want you have a substitute so that cannot be your priority you don't need it this is the kind of messages we have to tell our young people to abstain from unnecessary pressure that lead them into things like this no matter how many cars somebody have you live in trasaco valley you live in spinters you live in east legon it doesn't shake me joyce mensah you live in East Legon. <laughs> I live in Amasama. The value is the same. At this time, in the night, we all sleep. Maybe I even sleep better than you. You cannot prioritize things that are not needed in your life. You can have all the things you want. Either by stealing or by any fraudulent means. And you can acquire all these things today. And you can die tomorrow. It means that it was a wasted effort. Because after suffering, you are not even going to live to enjoy what you you had to kill somebody for. Do you understand? Uh -huh. I was in Germany here. And a certain friend of mine called me from Ghana. And said, Joyce, I'm expecting somebody to send me some money from America. I need a foreign bank account. So, uh, please, can I have your bank account? And I'm still for the way. Sister, my bank account in Germany. Okay. How much is a person going to put in the account? She couldn't say the amount. I told her, my dear, Germany is not like Africa. That you can just wake up overnight and have 10,000 euros in your account. Money you didn't work for. No. That you you will be invited. Listen, they control everything here. We don't have this system in Africa to control people's income. Why should people spend lavishly on things? You don't know how they got the money. And the police doesn't care. Police in Africa. IGP Ghana. You have to start questioning people who have so much money and you don't know the source of their income. No wonder there is so much killing in Africa now. I know that this person has killed somebody and some small boys went to kill somebody because the system in Ghana doesn't check. This person is driving this car overnight. Me, as I'm sitting here, I have what? I have what? I have what? My monies were not given to me. So, if you see that I have acquired something so big all of a sudden, it means maybe some things have been done. Maybe some foreign agencies are either paying me my money or I'm saving money to acquire the things I want. Whatever you have, it is better to keep it like that. My science teacher once said to us when we were children in school, I say, Did the dada yes in the preco? Did the dada yes in the preco? That is a tree language. In English, it means that it is better to have what you eat every day 
than to gather all and finish it and tomorrow you don't have it. You don't have anything to, to feed on. Maybe I didn't translate it well, but I think you understand that way. Kakra ube nya ube tini de biya no. E ya sin se o de kron mo ako uya. Mo ako uya ni we di ni praku pe na polisi babe cho. Na afe de afe de de ube di kron u nye bin di biyo mo. In yano mo. Nye si ebe tila social media ni nye asasem ya be kan. Ye ke nye asasem a mo me she. When we do an educative videos. When we do educative videos. You don't come and watch it. You don't watch it. You like it when people are fighting. Onya egbemi, onya e saw me. Onya e saw me, onya egbemi. And I when you say, and I want why I say, when you I say, aha, na e At the end of the day, no, what are you going to gain from that insult you went to watch my brothers and sisters? We are not serious as people. We are not serious one bit. That's why when people are saying say, our leaders don't take us serious. We the citizens, we are not serious. So the leaders think, say, we are crying, we don't deserve anything good for, from them. Because we are not serious. We joke with everything in Ghana. Everything is a comedy for us. Everything is a comedy for us. And then this friend of mine said, Joyce, you give me your bank account in Germany. I want to send some money. And now I'm saying, no. In Germany, we don't do that. After the time, she, she, she told me that I wasn't working. I was not even working. And I told her point blank. I don't care how much money you want to give me out of that. My dear sister, I am not giving you my bank account. If you live in Germany, learn the law. Otherwise, when the law catches up with you, you, you will not have any hiding place, I'm telling you. You will not have any hiding place. People have come to Germany. They've worked so hard. They got their resident permit. But because of this fraud, 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 fraud things, today they have been deported back to Ghana. Because of fraud, 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 they have been deported back to Ghana. Take a lesson. In Germany, you cannot be the system they will catch you one day. It's just a matter of time. And even if you stop, cry, they will still find a way and catch you. That could go to one of my Hey, Joyce Manson, about 10 years ago, you were in Germany, and then you got some money from somebody, and the person said, blah, 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 and blah, 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 blah. So we are deporting it to Ghana. It's just a matter of time, yes, friends. It's just a matter of time. The law will catch up with you, just a matter of time. Don't joke with the laws in Germany. A broche baby, I do not joke. I'm not stupid. I'm not a fool. I know what I'm doing. And che I have to uh, blow my nose. Sorry. Just give me a minute. Yeah, dear friend, sorry for that. And Chebia, one day I met a guy here in Hamburg. And then he was trying to lure me into something that was so enticing. He said to me, please, I want to take you to another country in Europe here. I will op open a bank account for you. Get you a citizenship of that country here in Europe. And I'm going to let somebody send some money into your account. I see 100,000 euros. Or can I meet you? I was listening. Said so the person will send 100,000 100, euros into your account. He said, we will take, we will share you 50-50. He said, Joyce, I'll give you 50% of the money. You just have to go and withdraw the money. When you withdraw the money, pam, 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 you come back to Germany. You don't go to that country again. You will give me 50% of the money, which is 50,000 euros. And then you will take 50,000. And I'm saying, okay, I've heard you. I've heard you. I didn't comment. Listen, all that glitters is not gold. Not all that glitters is gold. Some things can be so enticing. 
Probably you have seen a car that somebody is driving or mansion. The panic car, some nature. Wow, what calculate? You've done your calculations already. Oh, this one, you're fat. Ah, if Amma has done it, why can't I do it? This person came to Germany and they made it. Why can't I make it? Then you follow them. This man, after he suggested that thing to me, started calling me. Uber friend, he said, then, hey, me, Joyce. I am a seer. Before you think, I have thought. Before you see, I have seen. Because I'm a spiritual person. My spirit travels. My spirit travels. I am 90% spirit. I am only 10% human. I am still struggling to live on this earth. You come under my pace. Some people are here insulting me. You understand? This program I'm doing, I'm not insulting anybody, number one. I am not attacking anybody, number two. So, in this case, when you come under my video, I am talking sense. And then you come and insult me and call me all sort of names. And I curse you even if I don't say it here on the video. That is why most of you, oh, gone too soon. Oh, what a shock. Hey, she, she was healthy. Oh, oh, this guy was handsome. Oh, and uh, this guy was beautiful. The kind of silly things people are doing on social media. You think because it's a phone. Because it's a phone. It's you know, whatever you type to hurt somebody. And the anya oh boy. Go on TikTok. Go and see how many people die every day. All the young, young creators, they create a lot of videos. And nobody says, oh, not this boy was handsome. Oh, oh this girl was beautiful. That stupid things you people are doing. Stop it. That is why you are dying anyhow. Move to San Kukono. Gone too soon. What a shock. You come here. I am not insulting. I am not attacking. I am not doing anything bad. So what do you think? That you just wake up. Take your phone. And say, Joyce cry. He's a, she's annoying. She's annoying. Let me go and insult her. So that when she, she sees my message. I am not feeling any pain, my, my dear. Even if I feel the pain, after the video, you don't know what I'll do to you. It's better you go and sleep with your poverty than to come under somebody's video to pour your frustrations on somebody who hasn't done anything to you. See, I saw a phone, I can't send phone. You will not see people like Osei Kwame Despite or any sensible rich person at this night going into under people's videos, insulting them. You will never find somebody like that. It is only useless and aimless people that will do this kind of thing. So I don't even have time for you. So this guy tries to entice me. And I'll get you another uh, passport from another uh, uh, European country. who we'll open an account for me. Tien semini na. Ni kwa 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 ni sen. Enya fraud ya. Ni kwa 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 ni sen. Quick money. Quick money to do what? My dear friends. You want quick money to do what? At this time. We are not in good times, so we are not in normal times. The world is in crisis. The whole world, we are not in normal times. Look at what COVID-19 did. Look at how many people have died. Pregnant women, nursing mothers, businesses collapsed, businesses shut down. We are not in normal times at all. Omo Ola says, lovely beats. Thank you so much. I bought it in Ghana. We are not in normal times. As people learn right now, no, the world is in a big mess. The whole world is in a mess. You see me like this, Joyce Mensah. I like beautiful things, but I don't envy anything in my life that doesn't belong to me. If I'm dating you as a man, I don't care about what property you have. No boyfriend or ex-boyfriend of mine will come out and say, Sir, when I was dating Joy, she was asking me about my properties or if I have any house or no, no, I don't care. Hello? I don't care about how much money you have in your account. Your money is not my money. I am as simple as I am so very, very, very diplomatic person. If I put all joke aside, I am number one serious person now. I don't joke with some things. If it's time for joking, I joke. Time for pranking people, I can prank you right now. But that I'm a serious. But see, a say, yeah, yeah, you may be just because you are You will never find me joking. 
Me, you're very diplomatic. I have lived with a, a certain guy here in Hamburg. Sabre and I came to Germany fresh. Now, me, you who system, I wasn't seeing things clearly in Germany. Then I got this guy. He wasn't, I wasn't dating him, right? I was looking for a place to rent, like somebody's one room be. Then he said, he said to me, are you working? I said, I'm not working yet. He said, oh, you are a nice lady. Say this, say this, say this, say. I saw here Juma night. He works in the night. But then, if he goes to work in the night, nobody occupies his bed. I can join him in his room. Maybe instead of paying 400 euro or 300 euro, I could just pay 100 euro. And I'm sure it's a good idea. Because I just came to Germany. I'm not really seeing things well. Very good. I lived in this with this guy for three months. This guy is not from Ghana. He has all of the things in his room. He has a wardrobe just like what is behind me. There had never been a single day that occurred to me and said, oh, so we not go, be, go and open that wardrobe and see what the guy has. His bags are there. I have never opened his bag. I'm not here to praise myself. I'm telling you the kind of person I am and how you should live your life to avoid trouble. It is better to avoid trouble than to go and embrace trouble. Then tomorrow, Oh, she's a thief. It's such a disgraceful thing to be called a thief. I am so disgraceful to be called a thief. Something that is not for you, my dear friend, is not for you. Is it for you? No. Why are you going to touch it? You are bringing curses upon yourself. Curses upon curses. <laughs> hey, who said I want to ask a question? Why do you like big, big cucumber like that? What? Why did they see me take it? <laughs> so I lived with this guy for close to three months. I never, and I repeat, I never opened his wardrobe. I had a place I kept my bag. If I wake up in the morning, I go and take a bath. I change my dress. So finally, I left his house. For several months, I haven't set my eye on the guy. Listen to what happened. One day I was around Langenholm. Those who are li living in Hamburg, they will know where I'm talking about. Langenholm Mart. The place is called Langenholm Mart. I was walking around Langenholm Mart. Uban, Uban Langenholm Mart. And then the guy saw me and then he called me. Hey, Shwester, Shwester, Shwester. Shwester means sister. Then I came. Oh, Dubin, Dubin's good frau. Oh, Dubin's good frau. Ah, a person came and said, "Me your papa, papa." Dubin's good frau. And I'm beside the devil and say, "Oh, see, oh, auntie brofu papa. Oh yeah, yeah, no cow brofu kakra." Sir, oh see, he said when I left his room, he was looking for a girlfriend, and then he met a uh, one white girl. Oh, she, oh, he's not a German girl, but. This white girl from other European countries. And then, because he lived with me and I didn't give him any problem. He thought it was so good. <laughs> and then he brought the girl into his house. The girl lived with him for some couple of days. He said one day he went to work. By the time he returned home, ah, he was, he opened his wardrobe. 1,500 euro gone. <laughs> You know these French people, they like this uh, wrist, is it wrist watch and other, those kind of sparkling things. Go there, 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 there. And then he left it in the, in the wardrobe. Some expensive perfume. <laughs> this girl took all his money, he took his wrist watch, everything, and then she ran away. She said, he said he cried, he wept. And I was telling me, when he was living with me, he normally put money in his wardrobe. I never even took one cent. I never took one. So let me tell you. When people say our people are wicked. Oh, I before them with more day. And I before a small fan child. If I can there is a little bit of truth there. But there's a little bit of truth. Because if you are with me, 
I am not jealous of anything you have. I will not take from you what doesn't belong to me. If you don't give it to me, I won't ask. Oh, they tell me crying. I'm saying it's too much. Because I enjoy it when I work with I, I work with my hand. I'm I'm enjoying from my sweat. Then I'm so proud of myself. I'm like, ah, I own this. I bought this car. I bought this laptop. You know, I bought this phone. Not that somebody bought it and I went and stole it. Or I was begging somebody to give it to me. No, I don't do that. And this is how you keep your spirit upright. Our spirit doesn't like certain things. So the guy was like, oh, I, li I live with you. And I, I always put my, my, my mind on. And I said, listen, when you leave the room and you go, I, I, I even feel too lazy to even go and open somebody's wardrobe. Now you have to go and open the wardrobe. Then you have to search for everything. After that, now you have to arrange everything accordingly. What kind of, what kind of stupid thing is that? I don't have time. Be appreciative of whatever you have. Learn to be appreciative of every little thing you have. Nothing will happen to you. You have your sanity. You have your peace of mind. Tomorrow, somebody will not come after you and say, this person stole my money. Hadja for real. You love beautiful things. But you went and messed up. Instead of you to stay in Ghana quietly, you still went for a music award. Look at what has happened to you. At the end of the day, the system is working in a brochure. So all the fraudulent people, they are going to be arrested one by one. All the fraudulent people, you think you are in Ghana. One day, one day. You would want to go and show off in a brochure. Come. You made all the money. Oh, I have so much money. I can buy tickets. I can buy first class. Come. Buy the first class and come. The police is waiting for you. Oh, if you take from them, they will arrest you, my dear. You cannot run away. Sister, brother, you cannot beat the system in a brochure. They will arrest you. It's just a matter of time. They are just giving you time. <laughs> it's a time. You, you, they, they will catch you. You will be arrested. There is no shortcut in a brochure. Here in Germany, there is no shortcut. I've spoken enough. And I don't, I don't know if people wanted to call, so I just have to on the the internet so that if you want to call, you can bring in your your opinion. Eh? It's just a matter of time. A lot of people come showing off, show off today. Hey, put me show this. listen. <laughs> I was in Ghana a month ago. I can say almost two months ago because I came to Ghana in September. Now we are in November. And then I wanted to drive a car. Listen to this carefully. When I wanted to drive the car, I wanted to use in Ghana. For some reasons, I intentionally gave the car to Dr. UN to give it to me as a gift. Whether the car is mine or not, nobody knows. Whether the car is a rented car or not a rented car, nobody knows. Whether I have bought the car and I'm still paying or not, nobody knows. Whether the car is actually mine for a long time, nobody knows. And I don't intend to let you know about anything. But because of where I live, I live in Germany. And in Germany, you don't do certain things. Even though I have bought tickets and I have left Germany to Ghana, I know that there are eyes on me. And so still, I know what I did. And I know what I was doing. Me dey can dem man no. And I'm so on fire, man. Me saw the achemi. Uh huh. The details of that issue is not necessary for you to hear. If you live in a glass house, you don't throw stones. For those in Germany who are still thinking, say, there is a shortcut here in Germany. Lie lie. There is no shortcut in Germany. Just a matter of time. And then you'll be caught. You'll be caught rare-handed. Rare-handed. So, dear friends. Um, Yabua says, oh, where is Dr. Ewan? Uh, Priscilla says, nobody won't know anything about you, pressure girls. I don't understand what you're trying to write. Okay, Richard, me, I'm a Vanderpoche. Simple, simple, dear, tell them. People don't like truth. 
When somebody is living a real life, they don't like it. They want people to show them things. And they're giving pressure to your friends, unnecessary pressure. And I have this. Then somebody came to wrote under my video said, so you couldn't buy a house for your mother. Whoever have deceived you that when you travel to Germany in three years, you can go and buy a house. The person has deceived you. Anybody living in Europe who will come and tell you, say, come to Europe oh, in three years, you can buy a house for your mother. The person has deceived you. Unless eh, they are telling you to come and steal, then fine. And uh, Nita says, you are always looking beautiful. Nita, thank you so much for your compliment. Anybody who come and tell you, say, come to Germany. In three years, you can buy a mansion for mama and papa. The person has deceived you. Maybe they are doing some fraudulent business. They want you to, you, they want you to come and join them. So that when they are arrested, they will arrest you too. Nobody comes to Germany and buys a mansion in three months. It's a lie. Don't let anybody put unnecessary pressure on you. Obapa says you are looking too much beautiful. Obapa, thank you. Do you understand? If you want to call to join the program, I'm giving you the time to call now. The number is only on WhatsApp, please. WhatsApp only. 00491. I repeat. 00491. 72353406. 00491-72353406. So I have opened only WhatsApp, don't call direct call. WhatsApp only. Oh, I have to keep charging this phone. It looks like it's having low battery. I'll read uh Ni Ni Nago say lesson one. Never appear overly rich on social media and greedy for attention and fame at all costs. Yeah. I remember I was giving money to Dr. Yuen in one of my videos. He wanted to show the money to the camera. I said, Doctor, I don't show the money. You open my obia have a tattoo. Somebody will come and kill you for free for that money. Because of that money. You don't show money. Sika and perofu. Sika and perofu. Now, Tiana, you are throwing money around. Hey, you can't do that in Germany. Hey, with all my silly things, sometimes some silly things I used to do. One who said Germany, Mikita Sika, me throw Sikada. Don't come to Germany to come and be throwing money and be counting money. In, in, eh, hey, oh, come remuna to one. What's one police aba? You are in Germany counting money. You'll be counting the money on Facebook. You are still counting the money. Then here, call, call, police eye. You better police eye. We need to follow by your baby. You who saw who can't see that? Can you refrain from? I hang in the crowd. That is why you are inciting people. You are giving people pressure. They don't like it in Germany. Bro, no choice to call your son, Pastor Adiano. Oh, let's pick a caller. Somebody wants to talk. Okay. Hello. Hey, hello, mommy. Hello. What you say? Hey, you know what? I'm going to put it on the free for US. Okay. The whole life on Facebook. Exactly. Quentia Musuna and Penufo can a bin even said when your opportunity Kurana said, Obi as a new Sikabi and as a winner Sikabi free baby. I brought a name and I was at Wako show, says he can Just imagine. Oh, yeah. And you know, you make us a social media and that down on mono for now in the system, no, a year to my 24 hours. Exactly, I'm gonna track it. I'm gonna be a more tracking a check. Yes, oh, say you as the animal must start in your more family. No, you say where we own himself where we are. Yeah. And you know, the American is a man of Muku social media now, but your moon is a year easy. No, I'm going to train you easy, sir. Share. Before I open your hand, you know, how many hours I you? Before I open your hand, you know, 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 you know
mitumisha uba ya kasa maite mia miyeme juma tia na mkuu mitumi mitumi tosa kama uba na tosa kama uka no crown ukwa fu jindi na ukwa fu tumfu tumbo ukwa fu ni ukwa fu tumfu tumbo ukwa fu baka sababu sija ma uba na waiye uba na waiye miye mechanic hey miye mechanic ewa ha ewa US but enso kasa amoni use no mi even a tire kura mitumi to ah Oh, na ye 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 modi obi anye ne no wa wo fa kwa e pass no nya mi be shira o. Na de wa ye ne ho so no de obe fa kwetia enya chika no. Ne mra so asa de ne mra so yi no. E no onu kwa ne she ho no mo. Na de ye bo ma ye se omo omo aka no be. Yeah, omo omo aka no e be se san. Na wa ye into de me ja o na obi so aba. E chire no me she da afira o. Why? Hello. Hello. Ah, uh, India for us at you. I'm mean, block your man. Oh, India for more hard drain to do. More hard drain. You have no idea about the program. I'm more friend. I'm more disturbing me. Unnecessary call. Let me block the number. Learn to differentiate between your needs and your wants. Something that somebody has that you think is beautiful, you want some. It's not a priority. If you work hard and you're able to afford it, you buy it. Don't pass any illegal means to acquire anything just to impress somebody. At the end of the day, you are the only person going to serve the jail, jail sentence. You are not going to serve the jail sentence with anybody. Life is all about you. The choices we make today live after us. We are going to live to pay all the consequences of our own choices. Like I said previously, I have used myself as an example that there was a time somebody came to my mother and said, Oh, Joyce is going through a lot of problems and they think it's uh, witchcraft. I was just looking at the woman. Yeah. I am not a perfect human being. I have done very good, good, good things. Good ones. I have done extremely bad things. Engaging in unnecessary fighting. Bad choices. <laughs> you name it. At the end of the day, nobody is going to carry my cross. Not even my mother. If I'm living to pay the consequences, not even my dead father can re resurrect and come and save me. Even when you are going to pay for your own consequences, even your shadow will run away from you. One cast will shadow cry will say, I don't know, Joyce, I don't know, you go and serve your jail sentence. Every decision we make in this life, we should always bear in mind, Contrary to what the pastors told us that uh, anything you are doing uh, on the judgment day, you go to hell. The hell is here on earth. You are going to face every bit of the pain you've caused people. Every pain you are caused. Look at this woman, this American uh, journalist, a TV presenter, uh, something something Williams. Oh, somebody should remind me. Uh, uh, something something Williams. Is it Wendy Williams? Something, something Williams. Go and Google her name. Please, remind me. Give me the name of this American uh, TV presenter. The one who is very sick now. Is it Wendy Williams? This woman has tormented a lot of people in the name of uh, TV and radio show. This goes equally to journalists and Facebook bloggers who think said, Somebody hasn't done anything to you. Then you go and take the person. Pictures. You go and put it away. Thank you. Ifua says Wendy Williams. 
just because of likes and views. Then you go and take somebody's pictures. You will insult them from head to toe. Just like Ohini David is doing to uh, NDA. That day Ohini David was insulting this woman. Eh? Ah! I have stopped watching David's videos. But that particular video, I watched it from beginning to end. Mitsuha! When I was watching the video, I was shivering. I said, what is this woman going to do when she sees the video? What is this woman going to do when she sees this kind of nasty things David is saying about her and, and her son? How is she going to feel? You put a woman who has not done anything to you. You insult her. You insult her children. You, you, the person, 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 the you sit down and you plan this evil and you think, say, because people are going to clap for you and you are going to get a lot of views on social media. You don't care about how people feel. Listen, this thing I'm talking about, it's not only about somebody going to steal or Ajia for real has uh, taken somebody's money and the law is catching up with it. Listen, karma is a bitch. Listen, karma doesn't give you any second chance. Say, uh, when the time comes, karma will save you. Do they look at Wendy Williams? Go and Google Wendy Williams. Eh? Go and look at her current current state. Uh, uh, I say Abuebunu. Excuse my language. Go and look at Wendy Williams. Look at how Wendy Williams have tormented people in the show business. Because she said that Wendy Williams, a year uh, with the Houston interview, the top secret. She, oh, nobody is perfect. All the celebrities, they are not perfect. They have dirty little secret, just like any other human being. You, this woman didn't give uh, uh, Whitney Houston any privacy. This woman made Whitney wept. Not only Whitney Houston. This Wendy Williams, she has caused so much pain in people's hearts. And listen, this woman is not going to die. You. Look at how she's suffering. No, if you don't know who is Wendy Williams, American TV presenter, go and Google her name. Come on, she on internet, so and go and watch her past history, what she has done to people, the pain she has caused people, and go and look at how she is ending now. Now, when she's standing there, she is so wrinkled and she's so no one yet sign. Ah, you can say this is Wendy Williams, sir. You will say no, it's not her. And this is that exactly what our bloggers and the, the so-called TV presenters are doing now. They 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 listen to somebody's story. They don't care to to to, to go into detail. They don't care to investigate and see whether they have heard is true or not. They put you there. They make sure they drain you. They make sure they insult you. They preach falsehood. They make sure that your your spirit, your soul will vanish from your body, just like Ohini David is doing too. NDA, nana, nana, don't go at her. But now, with the mamina to my in Susu, my freedom, even though I'm not the one that really insulted, but I could feel say, I'm not coming home, maybe free me, I'm not going to be a bonny for her. And listen, when the time comes for you to pay all the evil things you are doing to people, with David, if the time comes for you to pay all the, the, the pain, the, the, the agony, listen, you are going to have this pain, eh? In thousand fold, you will cry for help. Nobody will hear you. When karma is saving you, you will cry. And people will start playing your old videos. And then people will be saying, did you see? Now, go and see Wendy Williams. The way she's suffering now. You see people, high people. Now because say, a brofu cry that they don't comment on something. A brofu, they are writing. Go and, go and watch your own past video. Wendy Williams, go and watch how you have tormented with New Houston. This woman died of depression. Go and see how you have tormented People, how you have tormented innocent souls. Everything you are doing today, anyhow you treat your, your fellow human being, hello, you are going to be saved. It's how, okay? and then our man is soon, and China, you will not cry. You are making somebody cry today. This person hasn't offended you. This person hasn't mentioned your name. This person hasn't insulted you. You just hate the person with passion. You, listen, when your time comes, she has wept. She has cried. When your time comes, you are not going to cry. Eh? When 
when your time comes, eh, you will look for tears. You won't find. Hello? You will look for tears. You will not find it. It doesn't cost anything to be nice. People are dealing with so many things on this earth. It doesn't cost any money to be nice to people. When you walk on the street and you see people here in Germany, sometimes you are in the train. You see a very young person so drunk. That would be I was in a train. And then I saw a young white guy. And then nobody wanted to sit by him. Obia about training my people would just walk and go and look for another place and sit. This guy was so drunk, and when he's sitting there, oh yes, I said Niti ko wofo, and I'm what now? So I purposely sat opposite the guy, the guy who was drunk. I sat there for a purpose just to be able to support him when he wants to fall, because you know what? I have been traumatized before. I have been depressed, but I am just, I am just, I'm just so lucky. I didn't do drugs. Many people were. My daughter is still surprised. They take my blood all the time. I don't do alcohol. I don't do drugs. And they're asking me, so why are you depressed? Then one day they sat me down. My daughter. My daughter sat me down. They, when they want to diagnose you, they take your blood and they ask you questions. Some people develop depression from their childhood. Some people develop depression right from their childhood. Some people were traumatized since they were children. They couldn't deal with it. They grew up and they, they, they developed depression. So for me, when my doctor started asking me questions that day, when I was telling her about my childhood, I was, I was crying. And she said, oh, 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 so this is how it started. I didn't even know about depression. I didn't know that what I was going through when I was a child could end up giving me this kind of problems today. I was living with my stepfather and my mother. My father would go to work. He would come. I was so happy because I thought I had a father. Not knowing my father was there. This man would come. I would go rush away and hug him and he would push me aside. Hey. I go and hide somewhere and I would cry. So, oh, I wanted to hug my father and he pushed me. I didn't know he wasn't my father. One day, sometimes he would come back from work. When I'm sitting in a chair, he would say, get up and sit on the floor. You're not allowed to sit in a chair. I'm like, oh. And then still, I was, I was loving him because I thought he was my father. I became so traumatized as a child. So I started going out. So anytime somebody is playing music, I leave the house. So I go to Adorin. I was in primary school. I go to parties. I go to funeral just to go and dance when they are playing music. That is how my dancing started. My dancing started when I was a child. Then I'll be dancing. I would dance ah, before I come home. It would be very late when everybody is sleeping because I felt I wasn't loved. So the thing was haunting me until I grew up. Listen, people are dealing with a lot of uh, bitter things. People are dealing with so many. Just be nice. So when a doctor diagnosed me, they saw that I have dealt with a lot of things from my childhood and also some bad decisions I made when I was growing up. These things have affected my brain. So this guy in the train, I was sitting directly opposite him. Then he would go, uh, he wants to fall, then I support him. Then he opened his eye. And he said, Danke schön. Danke schön in Germany means thank you. Wabu, he was so drunk. But he was able to say thank you. I was there. So I got to where I was going. And then he would still go, uh, to go and fall down. Then I, and then the other white people, uh, they, they, they were surprised because it's, it's, it's strange. They were just watching me. You know what? Because I have felt that what could actually cause a young guy like this to go and get so drunk to the point of falling down in a tree. Maybe something is bothering him. You can't judge such a person. Hmm? You can't. Because you don't know what he has gone through. So when you see people dealing with issues. You and I weren't there. You don't know what they are dealing with. You come and sit on social media. Just because you see somebody insulting me. I haven't done anything. No. You see this person insulting me. So if I will cross you, you. You will suffer. I'm telling you. Because as soon as I make, I'm talking from my heart. And then you come and sit here and say, because of 10 CD or 1 CD credit, it's not move by heart or Ghana. Because of 1 CD, 2 CD credit, somebody, you go into somebody's video. So if you go to the person's video and the person is fighting, yeah, you can also contribute with fighting. But when you go to somebody's video and they are speaking sense, wisdom, you don't know what is leading them to speak and you go and insult. Anything.
Everything I say will happen to you. I'm telling you, can't you, you'll be knocked down by a cap. Mark it on the wall. You have come to collect your debt. Go. Go with your debt. Listen. So, Ohini David, you have you have chosen this woman upon all the people on the internet. This woman has done anything to you. If you think you are doing politics and somebody is not doing politics, must everybody do politics? Is it by force? You have created your page and you think you want to insult people and somebody is not doing the same thing. Must everybody be like you? We are all different people. We all can behave the same way. And then you make, you insulted this woman. Me, myself, I wept. How much more? If she's watching it, me that I cried, how much more? The, 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 the one, the one herself. Listen, we are just here. Temporarily here. We came with nothing to this world and we are living with nothing. Just look at how people cry when you die. Oh, my friend is gone. <laughs> oh, my mother is I cannot leave Obwa. Let go, go to the funeral. The same people who wept the, the day you died, 